Hi guys, this is DJ Ava from Socified Radio. Welcome to the first episode of Socified DJ Podcast. I sat down with some of our very own DJs to present to you what makes you a so one. We'll be hearing from Frozen Arctic, LYR Cat, and Self Aid today. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you? How are you? Hello. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. Does your parents know you're a so one? Let's have Cat answer this first. Um. Yes, they do. Because they cannot go past the wall of merchandise that adorns my room. What about you, Selfade Eddie? No, my parents do not know I'm a soul. And how about your parents, Michelle? Actually, they do. Yeah. Oh well, my mom knows, and my dad is aware. But then, like being all the Asian parents stuff, they try to be involved. So my mom is like, she's kind of supportive, I guess, of fandom, and she's been to. One concert for the the regular like world tour, and then one Japan concert. So she's been to two. Oh wow! And then, yeah. And then my dad, he knows of them, but he can't seem to remember the name. So instead of calling them Girls Generation, he calls them Generation Girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute, though. <laughs> all right. Do you know all the nine girls' birthday? I'm not you, Ava. Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay. Just just for like measurements, um, good measurements. If you could tell us Jessica's birthday. Four eighteen. Taeyeon's birthday. Three oh nine. Tiffany's birthday. Eight oh one. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend they're all correct. I do know Tiffany's, but you know, hey, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go on to the next question. What was the main factor that attracted you to Girls' Generation? What attracted me was yeah, at first was their re- was their beauty, but what made me stay was um, their personality and them as Soshi. Cough, cough. Yeah, it's totally the personality and so she. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sure, not mm-hmm. not their appearance, right? Not their appearance. I was honest and I said that. <laughs> All right, I give you a hug for for telling us the <laughs> truth. <laughs> All right, and what are your favorite GG songs? Hoot. And if you ask me why, it was because of this one part in Hoot where Sohyun does this hand movement thing. Honestly, um. I'm, I think it's at like one minute and twenty three seconds oh or something God. like that. Guys, she <laughs> knows she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> But I remember it was that moment that like turned me into a someone. Yes, that life altering fact that we are now the ones after finding out about them.、Mm-hmm. Now, is there a defining way that decides you're a someone based on your knowledge of the girls? What do you think? I would say no because. I don't think like someone. There's really like a label. Like you don't need to have a certain amount of knowledge or own like a specific amount of merchandise or attend like a specific number of concerts to be able to call yourself a someone. I think like as long as you feel like you really love and support the girls to like the extent that you think is enough, then that's enough to call yourself a someone. And Eddie, even if you don't know the girls very well, it doesn't mean that you can't be part of the the fandom. Just because you don't know one video or you don't know one part of their lives, doesn't take you doesn't take it away from what you like. There you have it from the words of our lovely DJs. It is now time for our next segment, Soshi Lightning Round, where I shoot questions in the speed of light. Today we have contestant Dylan Jacob as our brave challenger. Hello, Dylan. How are you today? Hello there, everyone. I'm feeling a little nervous. A little nervous. He knows what he's in for, but I'm sure he's going to do fine. Let's get this party started. Number one, true or false? The girls initially intended to call their fans sugar. False. Number two, if Soshi were to eat sushi that looked like Soshi eating sushi, who would eat the most? Soshi. Number three, have you ever searched the word yuri on Google? Yeah. Number four, who's saying the first word in honey? Perfect for you. Taeyeon. Number five, the ultimate beauté. Taeyeon or Taeyeon. Taeyeon. The ultimate beauté. Sunny or Taeyeon. Oh, Sunny. The ultimate beauté. You or Taeyeon. Taeyeon. You or Sunny. Ta- sunny. <laughs> Number six, which GG song contains the following phrase? Sawanu Malheyo. My oh 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 um. Five, four, three. GD. Number seven, choose Hyoyeon's smile or Hyoyeon's magnificent hair. Hair. Number eight. What's girls' generation in Japanese? Shoujo <laughs> Jidai. And that is it. That was Dylan Jacob for everyone. Thank you for being our special guest. And now we're going to go into our special fact of the day. 
The origin of our fandom's name, So One. The name that the girls intended to call their fans at first is Honey, which is also another name for the song in their first single album, Perfect For You. The first verse that was sung by Sohyun was So Wan Yol Mal Hae Yo. The fans later agreed to be called So One, which translates to Wish. It's the first word of the first verse in their first single. It also means that Soshi and their fans are one, thus So One. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to check out our DJ threads on Socified Weekly Radio Schedules. Links below. This was a short version to our future DJ podcasts. Hope you enjoyed this What Makes You a So One. Please like, subscribe, and comment what you would like us to talk about for the next episode. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Sorry, there's a car. One second. Go away. Okay. Then <laughs> why do you get all my dirty jokes? Because you talked them to me. <laughs> I talked them to you. <laughs> uh, true or false? The girl. <laughs> Alright, restarting. Number one. True or. <laughs> God damn it. I'm laughing! Okay.